And let's get you some updates on Lander Vikram. Uh, we've got some update. Mr. K. Sivan has told CNN News 18 that ISRO has got the first photograph of the moon Lander Vikram on the lunar surface. The communication, though, is yet to be established, but we've got some pictures which have come of the moon Lander Vikram just, uh, uh, you know, just about two kilometers away from the surface, uh, the communication broke down and it couldn't be established. The ISRO was repeatedly trying to establish one. That is yet to be established, but there are some pictures of the moon lander Vikram from the lunar surface that have come to light. As you'd remember, Mr. K. Sivan, the ISRO chief, had earlier also told CNN News 18 that they have still not lost all the hope. They are still trying to establish a communication, a contact. The next 14 days are going to be very crucial. The fact that we have got some pictures of the lander Vikram, uh, that just means that they would be able to know much better about the know-how, what exactly is the problem that they encountered. Is there something, the hope against hope, that can still be done to establish communication? That is the latest update and the news uh, we're getting you this uh, point in time. Uh, we also have a phono chunk with the ISRO chief, Mr. Sivan. Let's listen in. Good afternoon, sir. Anshul Desai from CNN News 18, sir. Uh, sir, just wanted to confirm a thing with you that uh, has the exact location of the Vikram lander been uh, confirmed by ISRO right now, sir? No, no, just the orbiter has mapped that side. That's what I gave you. It's a location. It's a location. Oh, sir, okay. because a few news channels are running apparently that the exact location has been traced, but communication has not been established as of now. Is that true? No, no, that is, it's located. That's why it is there on the moon, Luna surface. That's why. It is, it is, it is a photograph is taken. That's why. Uh, so, ISRO now has the first photograph of the lander. Is that true? Yes. yes. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. My colleague Deepa is with us on the phone line. Deepa, uh, you just heard that conversation that uh, my colleague Anshul had some time ago. How do you think this information is important because you've been tracking this project very closely? Well, as far as progress on whether there is uh, communication established with the lander, no, it is not established with the lander. In fact, uh, there is not really much hope that it would could be established. But then they do have a 14-day window in which they will make that uh, attempt. So efforts are on continuously 24-7, I would say, to see if communication with this lander can be reversed. But as far as land, finding the lander, locating the lander is concerned, that really was a matter of time only because the orbiter, remember, is going around... Uh, around the moon uh, continuously and uh, it was a matter of time before it reached that spot where it could be taking that picture. So uh, uh, it was a yeah. matter of time before this would happen and yes, within a 24-hour cycle it has happened as expected. Now, further data on uh, you know what led to the malfunction on that day on at you know at 155 when it was supposed to land just 2.1 kilometer away from the landing spot there was a malfunction that was up. What led to that malfunction? There is still no uh, final clarity on that because data is still being analyzed on that. Yes, the big positive is that you've located the lander. We know that it is landed on the moon surface, yes. except that, of course, it did not do soft land landing as expected. So there has been some kind of malfunction, which is why communication so, has been stopped. Uh, Deepa, I, uh, I, want but, to, uh, I want you to break it down for our viewers. You're, you, As you're pointing out, that it was only a matter of time that you could have, one could have, uh, the ISRO could have located the lander. First, help us understand how are we getting the pictures? And secondly, how it was a matter of time? If you could break that down in simple terms. Well, the Chandrayaan 2 mission itself, lunar craft itself, is, is part, it has three parts to the three elements to it. One is the orbiter, which is the main orbiter that has been orbiting around the moon for the past nearly 10 days. That's and right. it has, you know, it has been orbiting since the 20th of August around the moon. Hmm. It had within it a lander and a rover. That's now, right. the rover was inside the lander and these two components within Chandrayaan 2 lunar craft, the main composite body, were, uh, you know, separated from the main body around the 4th of September, and then it was taken slowly closer to the moon surface, uh, uh, you know, almost on a daily basis, with kind of with a uh, kind of precise maneuvering that was happening. On the 7th of September, at 1.30 in the morning, it was supposed to take, it was pre-programmed, in fact, to take its own journey 
uh, from a distance of this 50 kilometers to the surface of the moon itself. And it did start off on that journey quite well. Uh, in fact, the first 12, 13 minutes of that journey, it was a 15 minute journey, the first 12 to 13 minutes were perfectly fine. And in fact, I would say it was that of for precision as it was already pre-programmed to do it. The last two minutes is when there was some issue, some malfunction, some deviation from the uh, path, from the flight path, which is noticed. And then, then com communication signals with the lander was lost. But that does not mean that the main...